सो टूडे लेट्स टॉक अबाउट मोस्ट कॉमन स्किन इश्यू पिंपल्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो आई एम नॉट अ डर्मेटोलॉजिस्ट सो आई आई एम शेयरिंग द थिंग्स और द हैक्स विच हैव लर्न ओवर द इयर्स अबाउट पिंपल्स एंड हाउ टू टेक केयर ऑफ दैम the types of people i know are some have genetical problem it's because of their genes and some uh, because of uh, not maintaining hygiene some are due to some allergic reaction some pimples are because uh, they are hormonal and uh, some pimples they indicate the health issues which you have as i said genetic if it is genetic you have to consult a dermatologist and get it or uh, get a medication for that uh, that is something uh, you know has to be treated in a good manner if it is severe um if i said hygiene not maintaining hygiene i'll share certain points hygiene starts like uh, you have to change the pillow cases uh, at least once in 2 3 days because pillow cases have lot of bacteria because when we sleep if you have applied any product it gets transferred there or if you drool it you know uh, that is where the bacteria starts growing so that is why you have to uh, change your pillow cases at least once in 2 3 days and also your bed sheet and uh, the blanket you use so those things has to be clean uh, next whenever you are traveling also try to carry a pillow case that will make sure that you are just you know leaning on a clean pillow while you are sleeping and uh, also when i am talking about hygiene i need to talk about cell phones cell phones also has a lot of bacteria so that is why you need to clean the cell phone surface the screen at least once or Uh, you know once in two days or at least once in one day uh because you might not aware you know like when we uh, hold the phone that is a good chance that the screen comes in contact with our uh, face and that is where it transfers the bacteria to our face and that is how we get the breakouts so we need to keep our cell phone screen clean as well if you are wearing makeup or if you are not even wearing makeup if you go out in sun in pollution make sure at the end of day you are cleaning your face really really well if you want to know about double cleansing uh, hit the link in the description box below where i have written the post about double cleansing keep your hair clean because if you have long hair and it's oily and it comes in contact with your face it also gives a good chance that you get pimples and also if you have dandruff please treat them properly because dandruff can also cause pimples while washing your hair uh, we make this mistake that uh, we wash our face first and then we wash our hair that is also a mistake let me tell you why if you wash your face and then if you wash your hair the hair products which are there they come in contact with your face and the hair products are the biggest uh, reason to clog your pores and that is how they cause breakouts so always always while you are in shower when you are washing your hair make sure you wash your hair first and then wash your face so that your face at the end is clean and no products are there to clog the pores if you are a makeup enthusiast and uh, if you use these brushes or sponges to apply the makeup on your face and then make sure that uh, you clean those uh, applicators uh, regularly because if they are kept like that in a dirty way that means they are going to you know uh grow bacteria like anything so that is why you need to take care of that as well uh now let's talk about the pimples which are indication of the health issues we have um the list is quite long honestly so it, some pimples indicate that you have problem with your liver some shows there is problem with kidney some shows there are lot of uh, you know uh, impurity in your body so for this i have listed all these uh, uh the pimples and the causes 
so you can uh, please hit the link in this description box below and check that mapping so if you are frequently getting pimples in that particular area of your face then i think you need to check that list and go to a doctor and get the checkup done so i said about allergy some, some pimples are caused due to allergic reaction it might be due to some of the medicines you are taking or some of the products you are using so in that case as well our body reacts our skin reacts and that's why we get pimples if there are any medications which you are started recently and because of which you are getting breakouts so then you have to look into that and uh, i've seen girls uh, who use products especially the skincare products blindly because it worked on their friends or their you know uh, near and dear ones but the skin it's different for each and every individual uh it's not necessary that the product which worked on one skin it will work on the other so you need to be very very sure about the ingredients that product has and it works fine on your skin so make sure you you know choose a product which is best suited for your skin you know you get those pimples during those time of the month which are like fine they come they'll be there for 3 4 days and they'll go but never freak out when you get pimples because stress is the biggest cause of getting pimple as well so the more you stress about anything and everything it's going to um, affect on your skin so that is why please don't stress out much so let's talk about uh, things which we need to do in order to prevent pimples as i said you have to maintain hygiene and um, you have you might have you have definitely heard this like zillion times eat healthy don't eat junk don't drink don't smoke and uh, drink lot of water so they are all are true and uh, also minus the dairy products it's going to cause pimples maintain a good skin care routine uh ctm is the mantra uh, that is cleansing toning and moisturizing ctm make sure that your skin is all cleansed toned and moisturized so it is going to make a lot of difference on your skin and also exfoliate your skin once in a while if you have already pimples then use a very very mild scrub uh and uh, exfoliation make sure the dry skin layer is removed and the pores the facial pores are clean and they get to breathe so this is going to help your skin so exfoliation is quite important so lastly i'll share some of the hacks which i have learned over the years so when i get pimples i usually try to do one night remedy like uh, the first remedy which i have tried and i have shared it with my friends who have pimples and even they loved it and it worked on them uh, the thing is you you have to take fuller earth or multani mitti and mix it with uh, rose water in order to make a paste uh, consistency so apply that paste on the pimple it's like a spot treatment just apply it on your pimple and let it dry and go to bed and uh, when you wake up the pimple size is definitely reduced this is because fuller earth it uh, absorbs the oiliness and it has the antiseptic uh, property as well so that is going to help next remedy is the turmeric one so turmeric it helps in skin care a lot uh, so instead of fuller earth take turmeric and mix some water make it paste uh, like consistency and that uh, apply that paste on the pimple and let it be there overnight so this is also going to kill the bacteria and helps in reducing the pimples so if you have lot of pimples then go to a doctor they'll prescribe some medications and they'll give you some face wash uh, to you know to be used on your face that is also going to help in the long run only if you have lot of pimple and it's quite severe and none of the home remedies are working and then you have to go to a dermatologist
So if you have sensitive skin and have pimples, I would suggest products which have tea tree oil. Tea tree oil has antibacterial property. It helps in healing your skin. And um, if uh, you want to try, you can try the tea tree oil on your skin. But always make sure if you are using any uh, essential oil, you need to make sure you are diluting it with water and then apply it on your skin so take few drops of tea tree oil and add some water to it few drops of water make it dilute and then apply that oil on your uh, pimple and let it be there overnight that also helps and uh, if you want to use products or the face washes on your skin uh, then go for uh, the tea tree oil based products uh, I have few recommendation which I'm leaving the link in the description box that is definitely going to help your skin because tea tree has been a, like a boon to most of my friends who had who had pimples now you know touch wood but it had worked on them so yeah I'm going to leave that link below and do check it out I, I really hope that works for you as well so yeah, these are the things I wanted to tell you guys. So these are like the types of pimples I know and how to prevent them and uh, how to take care of the skin which has pimples. And uh, I really, really hope you find this video useful and um, hit the like icon and subscribe. Kar lo yaar. Free hai. Chal, bye.